But what is up ninjas, my name is Samuel and I took a banger track down the throat so I am currently sick, I have a sore throat, stuffy nose, it's probably gonna get worse. But I still wanted to make a video for you guys because no days off. Today we're gonna be talking about shortcuts that we can find inside Extra Record Serum. Now today's shortcuts guys are gonna help you work a lot faster inside of Serum as well as open up the doors because I'm gonna be showing you guys some shortcuts when it comes to sound and sound. Like let's say you FM a wavetable and you wanna keep working with that wavetable, adding bands, creating a, your own wavetable, then some of these shortcuts will help with that as well. As always guys, if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so at evilsounds.com. And without further ado, let's just get straight into this. All right guys, so let's get straight into these shortcuts. The first ones I'm going to teach you are going to be basic control shortcuts. These are going to help you in pretty much those little things. Imagine when you figured out that you can do control C, control V to copy and paste. These are going to be very similar like that. They're simple, but they're very useful and very effective and save a lot of time. The first one is going to be, let's say you're working on the sound and for some reason you mess some stuff up and you want to go back to default settings on some of the things that you did. Well, instead of you going here and going zero, 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 then what you can do is just hold control and left click and voila, we have back to default. This is going to work with almost anything that you have <clears throat> inside of uh, Serum. All right, now the next one only works with the control knob. So if you have a knob, this trick will work. And that is going to be by holding shift and clicking on something, you get more fine, precise control. As you can see, I'm holding shift and this is kind of going pa -pa 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 -pa, rather than just going woo straight up. All right, so this is good for useful, very useful for, let's say you're doing FM and you're doing the saw FM here and you're doing this. There's a place in there you really like where you liked it where the way it found sound, but it was just for a split second and you can't seem to find it again. Then you can hold that shift and click. And find pretty much that where you want to kind of have it, all right? So that's going to be the next one. Now, the next one is, is pretty... <clears throat> pretty simple because a lot of the times if you want to use the chaos LFO that serum does have that a lot of people don't know about then you have to go into the matrix put source go chaos and then you're going to put destination blah 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 but you can do instead of doing that is right click on any knob or any setting inside of serum mod source and then you can just add the chaos through here all right now for those of you guys wondering what the chaos is the chaos is just a different style of LFO <clears throat> the way I like to explain it's a bit more random you can control the rate here, BPM sync. You can see it's doing like very random. But if you do the sample and hold, it gives you that some nice cool effects. Like if you're trying to make those glitchy kind of effects. So you can make robots, I mean robot sounds, you know, just very standard there. Um, <clears throat> and that's going to be pretty cool as you guys can see there. Now those are going to be pretty basic controls, um, shortcuts that we have access to thanks to uh, Steve Duda. Now the next thing that that I wanted to talk about was a bit more, where they're not technically shortcuts, they will really help. Is Let's say that you guys are doing FM, right? And you're doing FM from this side to here and you like this. Now you would like to modulate that with like a band or a sync or an ASIM plus, but you can't do it. Well, this is another cool trick slash shortcut. You can go here, you're gonna left click on menu, you're gonna go to resample to oscillator B. So what's gonna happen is this sound here will get resampled here. So now this is gonna be the FM sound that we have over here. We're gonna get rid of this FM here, off, turn this off. Alright, so now just put this to a value of zero here. Now we have the sound, and now we can add like a sync. And let's say you like the sync, and you want to have it in a, in a wavetable for it, then what you can do is also render oscillator B warp. So now the sync is going to be in your wavetable position here, and then here you can add like a bend plus. And you can just keep the cycle going and going, but now when we add some changes... We have sync going and we also have that band plus doing its thing. So that's something cool that you can you guys can choose to do. Alright, so those are gonna be some tips here that you guys can easily use to again 
work faster and also dive into some deeper kind of sound design all right guys now the next set of shortcuts are going to be really useful for those of you guys that modulate a lot of stuff with the lfo uh, inside of syrup it's super useful to do first off left clicking and you can insert coordinate points everyone knows that but when you left click let's say you want to put this in a precise point or lock it to the grid you can hold alt click and it will lock onto the grid this is very useful for when you're trying to do very specific modulations that are in time because a lot of times if you're trying to set it in time and you're just kind of dabbling around it feels a bit loose here you just hold alt let's say you're here alt click and there you go you have it right on time this is very useful again to getting stuff to be quantized a little bit better another cool thing with that is if you increase the grid size to 16 then you can get a little bit more precise with your with your little modulations there that you're going to be doing next trick is going to be pretty simple let's say you want to alter multiple coordinate points at the same time you can just left click hold and then just get them all like so and then now you can control <clears throat> those two if you want to do certain things like that um, you can also hold control and highlight them all which is very similar again let go of control and now you can do the similar stuff there as you see this one's a little bit different in the way it works but it's a little bit fun if you want to try it out now the next one is very useful if you have a lot of presets for your LFO tools, which I suggest you save a lot of your LFO shapes if you like them for future sound design uh, sections there. But let's say we're here and we, we just want to scroll through all our presets. We can hold Alt and click so that we can go through them all. This is really useful and really saves a lot of time instead of going here, basic, and then going through them all one by one. All right, so you can see there. The next cool shortcut is that if you hold Alt and click on the slopes of these guys here, you can alter all the slopes at once. So you can get some cool groovy, you know, things going on there, as you can see. <laughs> Pretty fun last thing is is that if you have this other four you right click here you can kind of do flip vertical flip horizontally so you can get some cool kind of features there and a lot of people don't know about this but uh this is another kind of cool feature inside of serum is that when you're in envelope mode and you right click you can set a loop back point here and now we'll make it so that the envelope mode is loopable and it only loops a certain part of the sound let's say we do this this is going to start here and it's going to loop back from there so it's cool for doing certain more complex type of modulations that you want to add but those are going to be all the shortcuts inside of the lfo section of serum i think the last thing i need to talk about guys is a lot of times you might do some effect change which adds its metallic sound or some cool vibes to it now in inside of serum you can click menu and you can save the effects racks that you have save effect chain here so that you can kind of say oh this is my trap lead effects chain or metallic trap lead effects chain or turn sound metallic chain and you can save that so next time you have something you can load the effects chain and then you can just go boom and it will load it up for you let's say we have that we can left click there we're going to load up that effects chain that we have there and now we have access to it. if that's a cool feature if you ask me because a lot of times you have these specific chains that always give you that vibe and then anytime you want to use it or you want to apply it to a sound that you like you can do that as well now the last trick i'm going to show you guys is one that is super cool that i like to teach my students to add a little bit more complexity into their music a lot of times the music you might make might sound a bit boring because you don't have automations going on you don't have cool things happening to the sound now one of the cool features inside of serum is that we can click right click here we can click midi learn and then we can go into a midi keyboard knob that we might have with this knob and we can route it there once we have that routed there we can move it now if you want to record that all we have to do is make sure this plus sign in ableton is clicked on and then we can hit record so that we can overdub on it so we can record this <clears throat> without Record, recording over that MIDI information we already have. So, for instance, so now when I play that over, So as you can see, we have those automations recorded there. Um, now, the recording, as you can see, didn't go to that automation there. It's going to go into whatever MIDI we have set. So MIDI controller, you can see number three is the one I was using. And now I have my automation here. So you can do a lot of cool stuff like that in Serum, guys. And those are going to be all the shortcuts that I wanted to show you guys in today's video. If you guys have any more useful ones that you want to 
comment down below let me know but as of now these are the ones that i use the most these are the ones that i know about and they really help again in making sound design a little bit more enjoyable it gets rid of the nuances of having to right click on stuff and do certain things and it gives you access to a lot more as you guys saw a lot more creativity for sure but anyways guys you guys take care you guys have an amazing day i'm gonna go and get a lot better i'm gonna go eat some chicken soup and hopefully by tomorrow or in and by wednesday I will, i'll be feeling a lot better but you guys take care no days off and i hope you guys keep making music if you want to support the channel evilsounds.com peace out guys but what you talking about